All right, so today we are going to Platonias, a town filled with all packed with hotels, restaurants, Airbnb, you name it. family welcome to another vlog okay so i don't want to give out a lot but i'm taking you to a beautiful place that if you are in crete and you are around platania's hania area where you can chill if you are on a vacation there are so many beautiful places around platania's hania yerani malame aya marina name it okay the island of crete is beautiful and lots of places so on a day that you don't want to go to the beach you just want to chill at the pool there are so many pool bars that you can just chill out with yourself your partner your family your kids whatnot okay so let me take you to a beautiful place where you're going to have fun follow me and let's go okay so right now we are in platanias so platanias platanias because the municipality is also platanias and we are in crete island crete island Crete, as the Greek will say, is the biggest island in Greece. Because, as you know, or if you don't know, Greece is packed with so many beautiful islands. Anyways, today I'm taking you, or today we are going to Platanias. So, right now we are on the streets of Platanias. Platanias is a town that is known for the numerous, countless hotels apartments uh, airbnb restaurants places to have fun and so on and so forth if you are in platanias you will hardly believe that it is a, a community that people are from here you know because it is, it just looks like a resort let me just put it that way it looks like a resort because everywhere you turn to it's a hotel and platanias is situated in a very good spot in the island because if you are lodged in platanias you'll be able to get a vehicle and just drive down to so many beautiful beaches like Elafoni Sea, Falasana, Balos, Granvusa, all of that. The names are nameless. Uh, countless of places that you can actually visit. And also, if you want Airbnb apartment, those are also available. And restaurants to pick from are just countless. You want seaside restaurants, you want roadside restaurants, you want up the mountain restaurants, you know, you know off the road secret hiding like quiet whatever you want whatever you like whatever your preference are you will find in platanias so today i'm taking you on a little tour of the city and we're also going to a seaside restaurant all right this is a family business where we have one of the brothers owning a hotel and the other one has the seaside restaurant so if you're lodged in the hotel you can also eat from this uh, restaurant and so on and so forth on a day that is windy because that's something that Greece is also known for some days it's super super windy that it's not safe to go down to the beach to swim you can go to any of the seaside um, restaurants sit down chill to eat so this is the entrance as we're going down to a place called Yamas okay that's the seaside restaurant's name and here is the hotel okay so there, as you can see from left to right a different hotel owned by different people different seaside uh, restaurant you can see right next to each other so you have many options okay you have many options to choose from and you want to try different food and so on and so forth it is available to you as you see right in front of me everywhere I pan my camera to you see a hotel you see a restaurant you see something like a place to chill as someone that is visiting uh the country greece okay so this is the place uh, walking right into the restaurant okay the seaside restaurant called yamas now the word yamas in greece means cheers okay cheers so that's what when you say cheers with your glass of wine glass of whatever that's what you say you say yamas in greek okay so yes welcome to greece yamas we are the yamas restaurant and needless to say that you're going to be doing a lot of yamas cheers here trust me the food here is fantastic you're gonna have beautiful wines if you're a wine person if you're a beer person it's available whatever you want to drink whatever alcohol they have good ones for you if you're someone that takes alcohol if you don't don't worry the lots of fantastic soft drinks also but the food is just so amazing okay we're talking about a family working together to give you the best okay everything is fresh 
if you want seafood you know that you're getting the best that's one thing that platanias is known for it's almost like the restaurants are competing with each other they all have fantastic food okay you're sure to get a good mediterranean dish okay that's what you're going for and you're going to get local dish if you want to get like the greek greek kind of food it is also available to you now i just love this bamboo setting going here it just gives the tropical vibe uh, 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 and you know you know if you've been to tropical um islands and all of that that's what this yamas restaurant uh, seaside restaurant is given and i love the fact that they made a small pool you know for the kids so if you're traveling as a family you can put in the small kids in the small pool while you're in the other pool and keep an eye on the kids or you can go in the small pool with your kids and just have fun you chill out this is actually a small one we have bigger ones so it depends on what you prefer if you're in platanias they have bigger ones they have smaller ones some people just love their privacy they don't want places that are too crowded and so on so yamas is perfect for that if you're this kind of person that you want to go to places where you have little people and so on and so forth then yamas is the perfect place for you and like i said earlier their food is fantastic you're just going to sit there you have the uh, beach view watching the people swimming chilling in your sunbed at the beach while you just have your lunch or your dinner whatever the case may be but i know that lots of people love having their lunch by seaside restaurants okay so yes hence i said lunch but that doesn't mean you cannot have your dinner or breakfast okay so going into the uh, yamas restaurant you can see they have uh display their dishes the different type of food that they can prepare so yes you just pick up the menu and select which food you want to eat i can just go on and on as a fooder talking about food right <laughs> but trust me the environment is serene it is beautiful it is just now greece is a country that is hot but something else that you need to know about greece is no matter how hot it is the wind blows and it has very strong wind so you're always feeling good not like when you come out from your hotel where you have your um, ac you start feeling like oh my goodness i'm gonna be burning up no you can go in you can go to the beach to get a, a deep the water is cold in platanias the water is cold if you are in a yam marina then it's even warmer but in platanias water is cold so you can go get a dip which is very good for you as you all know cold water is good for your health okay it is super good for your health we cannot even start counting so right now i'm taking you down to the beach like i said today is a windy day but yes some persons don't mind they feel like yeah we are on holidays why don't we sit at the beach and have the fun for the few days that we're going to be in greece because some persons travel for just a week you know they have like one week in greece some people two weeks and it just depends on how many days some people 10 days whatever the case may be so people love to maximize that time and have all the fun that they can so this is what platanias beach looks like now platanias beach is a massive one because right now yamas is situated kind of close to the center of platanias so let's say we are around the center of platanias so this is what the beach looks like in the center of platanias going towards the end you get more of the stones of gravel and so forth toward the end of platanias and toward the beginning of platanias the sand is more darker you know almost like a black sand towards the beginning of platanias so yes this is what the day looks like people chilling having their sun uh bed out and getting sun tanned you know people travel and one of the things that they have in mind is to get tanned water spot that's another thing that is available for you if you want to right here in front of us as you can see where the flags the greek flags is flying you can see is a water sport so if you want to jump on those boats and do a little bit of water sports that is also available there are a lot of fun stuff to do in platanias that is one reason why i love going to platanias and 
I will try my best to see if I can film hotels because in in Platanias they have five stars, three stars, four stars, just name it, hotels. And Airbnb is also available, and they also have apartments. If you're traveling with your family and you want to, you want this type of home away from home type of feeling, they also have those type of houses available for you where you can rent the whole um, place, and it's just you and your family. You have cooking stuffs, everything, everything. The house is fully furnished. All you need to do is go to the supermarket, of which Platanias there is two big uh, supermarkets. One is Lidl and the other one is uh, Inca then they also have smaller supermarkets so you have where you can go and you shop go back home and just turn on your gas cooker sorry I said gas turn on your electric cooker and then you just cook what you want here I'm showing you a little bit of the Greek cuisine that the Yamas restaurant has but yes, sorry, my daughter was walking too fast. I couldn't zoom in. I had to catch up with her before she gets to the pool. So sorry, I couldn't zoom in on the Greek cuisine menu there. But yes, like I said, you go to the restaurant, you go to the supermarket, pick up what you want to eat and go home and cook for your family. You have fridge to re uh, put your drinks, water and all of that. So whatever you want is available to you now if you want me to do hotels and their prices please when you watch these videos just don't watch them and go comment down below and leave me uh, a comment and let me know what you want to see and what you want to know if you want to know the prices uh, in hotels per night in Greece in Platanias okay let me know because they vary depending on the type of if you're going to a five star you will not expect a five star hotel and a three star to be the same price and it just depends you know some are so massive so big and so on and so forth i can actually do a video showing you hotels in platanias like i said platanias is packed and likewise i can also go into restaurants for you to see the inside the outside the view that you're going to be having but make sure that you leave me a comment so i know what you people want you watch the videos please don't forget to subscribe so like i said we're going to seaside restaurant and we're also going to take a little bit of tour of the town this is platanias you can see the tourists walking around okay having fun enjoying the beautiful weather and yes, here I saw this beautiful family and they just smiled and smiled and waved back. You know, it's always fun in Greece because everybody is free. The locals are free with you. They are welcoming. They are willing to engage you in a, uh, in a conversation. If, you, if you're looking for somewhere, you can ask anyone at all, any person that you see or you perceive to be a Greek person, you can ask, they will answer you. Now they also have this train. I was glad that I was filming this, this uh, train actually passed by. Yes, that can take you around the city for you to view. You know, you have city tour. This can take you around and they also have those off-road bikes um atv bikes you can go rent and you're going group and they take you people off-road and show you the beautiful city of platania so there's lots and lots of fun there are also night night slides. there's also bars where you can go boogie down dance you know get the groove on in the night this is platania square right now that we are and that's where you will find the inca supermarket is at the square of platanias but then Lidl is at the end or the beginning depending on where you're coming from if you're coming from maleme then little is at the beginning but if you are coming from hania little is at the end of platanias i hope i've been able to give you, uh, to give you lots of information about platanias let me know if you want more